Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you're not new, welcome back. So today we are doing one of y'all's favorite videos. You guys are always requesting more hauls. I know I don't have enough hauls up. I know hauls are one of my favorite videos too. So I've got one for you. Mostly only because I haven't posted a video in so long that I just have stuff piling up on my desk. So, or my vanity, whatever. Um, you guys know I don't do a lot of hauls because I don't have a lot of money to just be buying stuff all the time. But I've got two subscription, or three subscriptions here that I didn't have time to film an unboxing for. Um, I actually just got the glossy box. The boxy charm I did already open, but I wanted to show you guys what I got because I feel like it's a really good box. Um, so I already lost one of the products, which is a little brush, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, I've got the Morphe Me subscription. I went ahead and grabbed a couple of things from Jeffree Star and Lime Crime. They had, they both had some really good um, Memorial Day, I think that's what it was, sales. So I got a couple of things from each of them. I've got a package from Sigma because my mom, uh, my mom, my wife got me a couple of things as a little surprise gift. And I've got a couple of random things and I've got this entire bag full of clothes. I know one bag doesn't seem like a lot of clothes, but it actually came in like five bags because it's from multiple stores. And my wife took all the packaging and tags and stuff off of it. And I just shoved it all into the biggest bag that I had so that I could just carry it in here and then show you guys everything I got. So we're gonna go ahead and get started because I feel like there's a lot of stuff, but also a little bit of stuff. So I have no idea how long this video is gonna be. I want to get a snack or a drink or get cozy, get yourself a blanket, and let's just get started. So this is closer to me, so we're going to go ahead and do the Morphe Me. Where did I put those scissors? Scissors. My vanity is a huge mess right now. I've got all this stuff stacked up so I can do the haul, and then I've got a bunch of um, trash from opening envelopes and stuff. from. Um, I bought envelopes, I bought, I bought like these things, and I had to open the package up, so now I've got plastic wrap everywhere, I've got eyeshadow palettes everywhere, I've got the computer all open and everything, I've got a bunch of crap over here. Uh, my desk is even worse, so let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so this... If you guys don't know, Morphe Me is a subscription service where you get, I think, like four to six Morphe brushes a month. It's $20. Oh, does this say anything? Does this card say anything? I always forget to pull the information up for you guys. Um, I think it's like $20. It's not um, done through Morphe. It's through Live Glam. And then they get the, Morph the Morphe brushes and send them out. And it's just, you get like $30, $40 worth of brushes and you pay 20 so why not? So this month's theme was Girls Night In. And then on here it has all the different brushes. Gives you a coupon code to save 10%. And then it's got a little paragraph about the theme. So we're gonna go ahead and get right in. Oh, they're stuck together. This is the Morphe M460. This is a, obviously a flat top contour brush. I honestly don't like these kind of contour brushes because I use them for one thing and I've already got two of them. Let me see. This is the, what is it? M, M460. So it's a flat contour to contour your face, make your cheekbones come out. You can't really use it anywhere else. There is a bug on my light can't really use it like it's not a good brush to use on your nose it's not good up on your forehead or your chin it's only to carve out your cheekbones which is why I don't really like them because I like my contour brushes to do all of it um what I use this kind for is to bake underneath my contour and it really just sharpens it and makes it super super cut not today I didn't do I didn't bake it all today I didn't even put concealer on today so don't be judging on that um but like I said I already have a few of these so you know what that means. This is going into the giveaway box. I have a box that's like this big 
you guys probably can't tell how big <laughs> considering it's on the camera but um it's just full of stuff that I just randomly gather things I buy or things that come in subscription boxes that I'm not going to use whatever happens to come across my vanity that I am planning to give to you guys in a future giveaway so this is going to join that next up ooh, this is one of my favorites this is the Morphe M444. It's a Kabuki foundation brush. Oh my gosh, I love Kabuki foundation brushes. They're my favorite. Let's see the, oh, they're calling it a Deluxe to Finition Blender. Buff brushes or buff boys, just remember abs may fade, but flawless foundation is forever when you're using your buffer. Um, yeah, they're calling it a definition blender, but it's, it's a foundation brush, a buffing foundation brush. Brush, don't say that. That's hard to say. Um, I'm not clear off the space to set all the stuff as I open it. Right, let's just take it out of the package. Put it back in. Okay, so we have the tiniest, sparsest fan brush I have ever seen in my life. Do you guys see this? This is the tiniest brush ever. What is this for? This is the M four nine six, the Duo Lash for your lashes. A, it's besties over boys at Girls Night In with a Duo Lash fan. You can get both along with some. How do you use this? I'm gonna have to watch some YouTube videos because I have no idea what a lash fan is. And this doesn't tell me anything about how to use it. Um, but I'm going to put it back in the plastic just in case it's not something I would use. And I can give it to you guys. Okay, and then the last brush is the Morphe M518. And it is a crease fluff. You guys know there is no such thing as too many blendy brushes. This looks really nice. I really like the white bristles on my brushes too. Okay, I need to stop talking so much about each product. Let's go into the boxy charm that I already know everything that's in here. Okay, so this is this is the what is this crown? Is it the crown brush? Yeah, it's the round contour brush by Crown Pro. It retails for $24.99. It is again not something I I don't like these oval brushes. So, I'm not going to take it out of the wrapping, but it's just a basic oval brush and it has a cover over its head. This is my absolute fave. This is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. You guys know we got her gel, her brow gel a while ago and I loved it. But this is the actual convertible brow in shade 2. So it's got three different shades um, in here. This is uh, the number two palette because they have a few different palettes of different color ranges so this is retails for $35 it acts as a brow powder and a brow pomade so you can use it dry and then you'll just get it as a powder or you can get it wet and then use it on your brush or on your brows and it'll work more like a pomade it does lie though it says that it will dry down back to powder immediately but if you look at this dark brown here you can see where I've used it wet and it did not dry back down so that wasn't very helpful but that shade is perfect I used it in my brows today but I just went very light today and I'm loving this it I've been using this instead of my NYX and you guys know I love my NYX so next up is the liquid glow by Temtu this retails for $29.50 um, I don't like liquid highlighter, so I'm not opening this because somebody else is going to be lucky and get this. I know it is very, very, very highlighty because I saw the sneak peek when they did it and they like, swatched it. So, yeah, somebody else is going to get that. And then we got a highlight and contour palette. This retails for $40. And this one is by IBY Beauty. They had a cream one too. I really wanted the cream one because. I really want to try cream powder, but I don't want to, or cream contour, but I really don't want to buy the palette, a cream contour palette myself, because if I don't like it, that's such a waste of money. But, um, I'm actually not going to be able to use this. I'm 
right now trying to find someone to swap me that has the cream palette because these colors are so light. This is supposed to work for multiple skin tones, but I'm not even that dark and this is none of these are going to cut it. These are all for pale people. So this is not helpful at all for me, but I'm hoping to find someone that has the cream that I can swap with. That's the beauty of Facebook swap shop groups, makeup swap groups. Close this back up so I can put that back. And then I also got the brow brush that goes with the brow gal thing, but then I used it and I have no idea where the brush went. I honestly cannot find it anywhere at all. But it was a really good brush. Like the spoolie on one end and then the eyebrow brush on the other end. That was really nice. But I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's move on to Glossy Box. We probably should have pre-opened this. Um, I sign up for the three-month payment plan at a time. So I pay for three months in advance. But... Honestly, if this month and next month are as bad as they have been lately, then I'm going to have to cancel this subscription too because lately it's just been a waste of money where I don't even get one good item out of it. And I'm not okay with spending $20 to not get something good. And it looks like there's some damage to this box. Like, it's wet. The box is wet. I don't think it was raining anytime recently, so that means something leaked inside. Um, before I move on though, BoxyCharm is a makeup subscription box. It's almost always makeup. I don't think I've actually ever gotten skincare from them, which I love that it's all makeup. They always send full-sized, um, actually I think they changed, no, it's always full-sized. And um, you pay $21 a month, so there will be a link to sign up for BoxyCharm and the Morphe Me and Glossy Box down below. So, let's see. I might be, you know, Glossy Box. I'm emailing. Can't speak. Oh, yeah. Something busted. I can smell it already. Um, It smells good, but they're definitely going to be getting an email. Tropical Beauty is the theme this month, and it's just a random postcard. That's wet. And then they send their thing in a magazine pamphlet thing. Oh my god. Well, hopefully I can still read what these are. Just stuck together, so it's ripped open now. Um, for Glossy Box, it's also $21 a month. And they send, I think it's four to six either full-sized or deluxe sample-sized uh, products every month. They are beauty and skincare, but they tend to lean more towards skincare, um, which is why I just don't like it, because they claim that they're beauty and skincare, but then every box I get, there's not a single piece of makeup. So, let's see. This is another oval brush. This one actually looks nice. Like, it would work for contour and concealer, which is what it says it's for. Um, I might give this one a try. I know I just said I don't like oval brushes, but I don't... I think this would work for contour. I don't like how they use... I don't like oval brushes for any part of the face, but I feel like they could really work well for contour, so... I don't know. I might try this, and I might not. Um, this... This is what leaked. It was... It's not even closed, guys. They didn't even scoot all the way on. It's completely all up in here. This is the Manu Spa Rosewood Reviving Mist for all skin types. What does this do? Um, that brush retails for $10 to $15. What? Oh, there's two different brushes you could have gotten. Okay. Um, which one did I get? I don't know. And this Reviving Mist is obviously not a full size, but the full size retails for $27. What does it do? It's just... So you can set or fix your makeup as well as lightly perfume your body. 
Well, that's annoying because I didn't actually get any of it to try, and it smells really good. Definitely gonna be emailing them about that. Oh my gosh. This box burst open because it's all wet. This is the Enoir Argan Oil. The full size retails for $34. Um, this is just a tiny cute bottle. I will keep this because I have the I have two types of oils that I like and I don't know if this is one of them, but I might give it a try. Oh my god. Everything is just soaking wet. This is Bang Beauty. Where is it at on here? It's a cream color. The full size retails for $26. I'm assuming this is full size. Guys, like, the entire box just came apart like that. What is this? What shade is this? Do I have a shade name? I'm really mad about this right now. This is Dolce, Dolce Pink. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. But I hate cream shadows. <laughs> I really do. Um, so that's going to be going to someone else. But without the box. Because the box is soaking wet. I might try and dry it and see if it'll go back together. Maybe. Yeah, surprisingly, this box is not soaking wet. Such you over there. This is the Julep Your Lip Addiction Lip Oil Treatment. Nice. Uh, full size retails for $22. And it's just a lip loving oil. It's just a really nice sleek box. And then it just... Why is it squirting? You guys see that? That was so strange. When I pulled it out and I held the brush and the brush was pointing that way, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, that's how I'm explaining it. It was just squirting oil out that way. That was really strange. Okay, so that is it for Glossy Box. They will definitely be hearing from me. I want to try that mist and they ruined everything in this box. Okay, now we are going to move on to the Jeffree Star. I only got two things because even though they were 50% off of uh, what uh, ammo, lip ammo, and skin frost, and the beauty killer palette, it was still like not that great of a deal that I could spend everything because everything's expensive to begin with. But I got, this is the Lip Ammunition in Celebrity Skin. I'm still not sure if I got this for me or you guys, so. It's a really nice brown um, kind of color. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's matte, but then I, for some reason I was thinking it had shimmer. You guys know I hate shimmer and lipsticks. And then I got a Skin Frost because I've been wanting to try his Skin Frost. Now honestly, the Skin Frosts, I believe, are a very great deal even at full price. Just because of, look how huge, this thing's like half the size of my face. So I think they're a pretty good deal even when they're not on sale, but they were 50% off. So you know I had to get one. I wanted to get two, but I really didn't have the money for that. And I got the ice cold one. So it's like, it's, it's, I don't know, online it looked like it was going to be pure white, but it's actually almost a little champagne-y, so I think it'll look really, really nice. I can't wait to give that one a try. Yeah, guys, this is how busy I've been. All this makeup has just been sitting here. I haven't got to touch any of it. Just the um, boxy charm. So and this is the Lime Crime, and I just got a few things from there as well. They had their liquid lipsticks on sale for $5 each. Okay. Go over there. I'm making like a top lane tower of boxes over there. So I got three different lipsticks. I'm not sure. I'm, I've never bought from them before, so I'm not sure what the differences are. This say Lime Crime Velveteens, and then this just says like Lime Crime Pearlies. And I got, I got some bold colors because all the ones that were more neutral were sold out. So I've got Thistle, Squash, and Gemma. 
Um, thistle is obviously a bright, like, sky blue. And I think it's just really cute for some artsy looks that I'm hoping to get done. And then squash, I just, I don't think I've ever seen an, a lipstick this shade. And it's like a really pretty orange squash color. It's like pumpkin-y. Also kind of looks like baby food color, but I just really wanted some fun colors to play around with because I feel like I've gotten in a nude or red rut. And then this one I got for you guys because I know the metallic lipstick is like a huge thing. Um, I just really don't like the way it looks on my lips, but I will show you guys this one. This is, oh, it's a stick lipstick. So it's a metallic brown. That's why it came in different packaging. I thought it was a liquid lipstick because I've never bought from them before. Um, but yeah, that one's for you guys. And then... From Sigma, my wife just grabbed me a couple of things because she saw me having to shampoo my brushes, like all hundred of them. I don't know how many brushes I have. Probably not a hundred, but I have a lot. I have three different jars that are packed full. I need to find more jars that match the whole thing. Um, and all I have is this little egg that's smaller than my hand that I got on, like, I think Shop Miss A. It's like a dollar. So... Um, she was making fun of me, and then when I told her that they make mats, she went ahead and picked me up one. She got me the smaller one because it just needs to go in our bathroom sink, and I know a lot of people like the big one that can go in your kitchen sink. But it has suction cups on the back, and then on the front it's got a side for face brushes, and then a side for eye brushes, and it's just got all the different, like the top is for rinsing, the bottom is for washing, like it different textures all over the place that do different things so I think that was really awesome and then you guys know I'm always talking about how you can never have too many blending brushes well my wife hears about it even more so she bought me the perfect blend kit professional brush collection from Sigma and there's just like a bunch of different brushes in here well, I say a bunch, but I mean six. So this is the pointed crease, which is the E48. Honestly, it's really long bristles, and I'm not sure how to use that um, because I've never seen anything with bristles so long. And then this is the Buff and Blend E39, and this is just a basic um, fluffy crease brush. This is the Exact Blend E32. This, um, I'm not sure how it's blending brush because to me it just looks like a regular eyeshadow brush that would place color very well. This is the All Over Blend E37. Again, just a basic blending brush. This one is a highlight diffuser, the E71. And I have never seen a brush like this, so I have no idea how to use it. But it's like angled, but it's also a like flat top and round. Then this one is the diffused crease, the E38. This is the standard um, blending brush that you see me use all the time. That's the one I'm most comfortable with. That's the one I, that I know exactly how to use. So, um, yeah. That is what she got me. I felt so loved. She was trying to keep it a secret, but she's really bad. So she was like, I got you a surprise. Do you want to know what it is? Well, I'm not going to tell you. And then she told me. She's really bad at keeping secrets. It's really funny. Okay, let me move this stuff. Okay, so just a random little thing that I picked up just today, actually. This is the Bring the Salon Home Kiss Brush on Gel Nail Kit. This, these kits are really cool um, if you're broke like me. This kit costs $10 and you can do a full set of, you can do what, how many sets? Two full sets of manicures with gel nails rather than acrylics. I've gotten a set similar to this before and it was, it worked really great. The only thing is the bottles of the gel dry up really fast. So I had to get another one because that one dried up. 
Um, they also have some that are for acrylics, and you guys have seen what I've done with that, and I've posted it on my um, Snapchat and stuff, and those come out really nice too. You just have to know how to follow directions. And then, you know, it's $10 for that set, $10 for this set. You can have your full set of cute nails whenever you want. So, yeah, that's what I got. I'm excited to do my nails. I got a pair of shoes. I finally bought a pair of shoes. And it's not even just shoes to wear around. We have, I mentioned it in my life updates video that my wife's grandpa passed away. And I had no shoes to wear. It's like, it sounds like a really shallow thing to worry about. But the only shoes that I have that go with a black dress are heels that would be digging into the grass. And I feel like digging holes into the grass in a cemetery is a lot ruder than worrying about your outfit. So I had to go pick up some shoes. And I just got some, they're like small little wedged sandals, and they're just really basic, um, you know, you just slip your foot in, stretchy around the ankle, uh, and yeah, they're just really simple black shoes that I think I could wear with a lot of outfits. Now, on to the biggest part of this haul, even though this video's already been 30 minutes long. I hope, or 20 minutes long, 20 minutes long. I hope you guys are still watching because this is a fun part. This is the plus size fashion. I don't know. I feel like I should put it in a separate video just because it's almost time for me to do a summer video anyway. You guys um, know I do plus size fashion video every season, which is why I've only got like three or four. Um, and I feel like this is stuff for summer, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now and just do a summer lookbook later. Um, because I already said I was gonna show you guys this stuff. So for our trip to London, Paris, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. It's also summertime, so it's gonna be hot. So as a bigger girl, I don't wanna wear something where my legs are gonna shake, which is dresses and skirts, which I wear all the time in summer. But I normally don't go walking, all day long every day for a week so I also don't want to wear leggings where it's gonna be too hot or pants that'll be too hot so I picked up some shorts and I got the new ones the ones that are in style now that are just really stretchy waist with like a drawstring they've still got pockets and then they've just got the billowy leg that's sorry I'm plus size like I just said like a hundred times so it doesn't really fit in the screen because these are big girl shorts. So, let's see. They're just, you know, really loose. They're like a cotton blend or something. They're just really cozy. I tried them on. They're super breezy. They are long enough that my legs won't be chafing. But short enough that I won't be dying from heat. So I got this pair in white. And then I've got the exact same one in green. The green is a better size. This is a 2X. So they'll be a little bit more loose, which will be great because, you know, that lower belly where shorts are tight. Um, these are only a 1X because they only came in 1X. Uh, and so it's a little tight on that lower belly, so I have to work with a longer shirt to be comfortable. But these are a 2X. The only color that came in 2X was this one, uh, which I like this color, but I wish more of them would have come so I could get more shorts that weren't so tight down there. But again, just a cotton blend. Really billowy. Don't have to wear it as long of a shirt with that one. It's gonna keep me nice and cool this vacation. These are even better. They're the exact same style, but they have this pattern on them of like little spots. And then on the hem, oh my gosh, tell me that's not cute. I love owls and elephants. And so this has elephants lined up along the bottom, and they're a thinner material. I don't know what they are, but they're a thinner material than that is. So they're really even more billowy and they have little tassels on their drawstrings. And this is uh, another 1X because like I said, they all came, the larger size was 1X. I got these at Old Navy. They had a bunch, they had a whole table laid out, but some of the colors I just didn't think would look good on me or I felt like it'd be too hard to pair shirts with them. And I really didn't have money to be buying all this clothes. So I did anyway. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fun. Then I just got a basic tank top, just it's spaghetti strap, 
but it's like halter in the back, or not halter, racer back almost, but with spaghetti strap. And this is a 1X and it's really loose and billowy because guess what guys, I lost 10 more pounds, which means my shorts are smaller, my pants are a tiny bit smaller, but not really because they're still a little tight if I go smaller. It's like almost to a new size on the bottoms. Uh, not with jeans though. Everything has gone a size smaller except for jeans. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to give it another month before I do a weight loss video to see how it keeps on going. So I finally joined Weight Watchers after being tired of being plateaued. Okay. What is Torrid? Okay, so I got another pair of shorts at Torrid. These are a size 3 because I wasn't sure. I didn't have time. So I bought like a bunch of stuff, or not a bunch, I bought a couple of things, and then I went up to pay, and then it turned out one of the things that I had got off of one of the regular whack racks was actually on clearance, and all the clearance was buy one, get one free, so I had to run back and grab my something for free, because why waste it? <laughs> like, she said, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you can, and I was like, what do you mean if I, something for free? Of course I'm gonna go back and get, it's an entire piece of clothing for free. You know how expensive plus size clothing is? Of course I'm gonna take whatever it is for free. So then I had to run back there, but all, like all my stuff was up there at the desk at the checkout. So I was like lo really looking, didn't have time to try it on. And I found these. I was trying to tie the draw draw string, draw string so you guys could see it, but I tied it too tight. So these are the same kind of billowy shorts, but they're a little bit of a different style. These are meant to have your shirt tucked in. So it's got a this, you can't tell because of the pattern, but all of this right here is like scrunched up elastic material. That's the waistband. And then it's got a pink belt ribbon thing. And obviously you can see the really fun pattern that's on it. And they're really loose and billowy and go down long enough that I won't chafe while walking. But um, they're kind of big because I keep... I keep forgetting that I lost weight, and so I keep buying clothes that are my old size, which is only like one size bigger, but you'd be shocked at the difference. Because pants keep falling off, and I keep having to yank them back up while I'm working on an assembly line. Like, it's really frustrating. But I shouldn't complain, because it's also kind of fun. And then I just had to pick up another pair. You guys have seen these in a Tron haul. Um, I just picked up another pair of their Torrid Basic Black Leggings. Love Torrid Leggings. They're such good quality. They're a little bit more expensive than, like, cheap leggings, but they're worth it because they don't rip apart. I also picked up this super cute t-shirt. And I got it, I specifically got it big. So it's a three, even though a one would have fit. I got the three because I wanted it really long and really loose and billowy. And this is just a basic v-neck graphic tee. It says, take me away into the night. And it's got like white moon and stars, as you can see. This is great for the leggings for on the plane. They, it goes like a little to my butt, a little almost past my butt. And then it's just really loose and there's no tightness anywhere. Because like, normally things are very tight on my boobs. Did I get anything else there? Oh, yeah. Then I grabbed, you guys saw in my last haul, um, my last, I think it was Torrid, was it just Torrid? I don't know. My last haul, um, I got a bathing suit top, but I didn't like the bottoms that came with it, and then I couldn't find any bottoms I liked. Well, I found bottoms when I went, and these are the ones that were suddenly on clearance that I didn't know. And it's just a black skirt, and I think it'll look really cute. Um, I did get it in a three, though, and... I don't know. I like to size up on bathing suit bottoms just so, because, you know, a tight bathing suit bottom, a tight bathing suit in general is not comfortable at all. But if it's too big, it's going to be a problem. I'm pretty sure you can't exchange things that were on clearance. So, hopefully it fits okay. Then, what else did I get? Oh, we went to Charlotte Ruse. Which, if you're looking for bralettes for big chested girls or plus size girls, go to Charlotte Ruse. They have 
so many cute ones. They actually have a lot of cute ones that don't work if you have bigger boobs, but they have the wider band because they're four plus size girls that just have, they have them that will fit over your boobs if you are a triple D like me, but they won't do anything. So it, it, it just is so stretchy and loose that your boobs will be hanging down to your belly button. But if you are like me, this is a little tip for any big boobed girls out there that want to wear bralettes but need the support of a real bra. Get this style. So it kind of goes up. It's like a bib style and then that's where your head goes. And then in the back, it's got the racer back. With This one has a cutout on the back. And then it's also got the cutout in the front for cleavage. This also has pads, which I like because, you know, if you're wearing a bralette, your nips might show. Um, and it's more of a long line, which I love because it helps smooth out that extra back roll. And again, if you're big boobed like me, make sure that the stretch in your lower, in the lower end is not too stretchy. Um, you can also get like halter top ones. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's not too stretchy and then it'll give you the support you need. So I got this super, super cute one. It looks so great. Um, I love it. And then I just picked up a basic, I don't know how many times I have to buy a black t-shirt and then just lose it. But I picked up another basic black t-shirt. It's really loose and billowy. Again, this is a 3X. The bralette is, what is the bralette? The bralette is also a 3X. Um, This is a 3X. This is all from their plus size collection. It's really deep v-neck, really thin, light material. It's got a little pocket right here on the chest. I actually hate shirts that have the pocket there, but I really wanted this because it's just so soft and so loose and billowy and awesome. And it's like longer in the back, which I love. I love shirts that are longer in the back. Okay, so that's from Charlotte Ruse. And then I had not found pantyhose anywhere and I really need a pantyhose for the funeral in the, um, I think it's a wake, but they're calling it a visitation, and I think that's the same thing. So I had needed some pantyhose, so we had to go to Lane Bryant because I couldn't find any anywhere else. And I just got some sheer black and some sheer nude. You guys don't need to see all that, that's just pantyhose. But as we were waiting in line, we realized that they had some super cute bras. I mean, I already knew they had super cute bras because it's the only place I can actually buy bras that fit me. Um, I said triple D earlier, but I forgot. I'm actually an F now. Uh, some people say that's the same thing. Some Fs fit me too big in the cup and some don't. That's why you always need to try your bras on. But we were actually in line pain when I saw this beautiful bra out of the corner of my eye and fell in love with it and knew that I needed it. Let me see if I can hold it properly. So it's got that bralette style where it kind of covers your chest and goes up. Um, and then it's just a basic bra and it's super freaking cute, lacy and everything. And then the back, it just looks like a regular bra. But in the front, you know, if you're wearing a deeper cut like that black t-shirt, this will stick out and show. And it'll look like you're wearing a bralette, but you've got that underwire support. So beautiful. I fell in love and had to get it, even though we weren't supposed to be spending this. And then my wife saw this one and she was like, you would love that because it's, this is totally a cutesy little bra with a funky style. So this one actually really confused me because as a big boobed girl, woman, female, I've never had a clip in front of bra. And this one clips in the front. It's got this cute yellow and white checkered pattern. And then it clips in the front, which normally you can only get a clip in the front bra if you have smaller boobs. But anyway, the important part of this is the back. So it goes up almost like a halter, but then it's like a racer back and it has a cutout and it's got lace. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I saw that and had to get it. And then I saw the signs that said all the cotton bras were buy one, get one 50% off. So obviously I had to pick out another one. And it was frustrating because all the other ones that had cute little details like that didn't come in either a triple D or an F of my band size. So I got a regular t-shirt bra, a regular t-shirt plunge bra, but um, yeah, 
It just is simple and cute and has this little pattern. Still cute, even if it doesn't have the fun little bralette style add-ons. And I think that's everything. We bought a bunch of other stuff, but it's like travel stuff. And since I'm going to do a whole nother video of whatever, I know people love to see like what kind of makeup do I take in my travel bag or what do I put in my carry-on bag, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to make that a whole separate video rather than making this video even longer. So I hope you guys got your fill because this is officially a 40 minute haul video. Uh, yeah, I think that deserves a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of everything in the comments down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at she who speaks underscores instead of spaces. I'm also on Snapchat at Kimberly.Nicole with a K not a C. Go ahead and click on my face to become an adventurer and join our little family. If you want to watch another one of my videos right now, there will be two on the screen for you to choose from. Thanks for watching. Bye.